Hey creatives and welcome to Cinema Sunday. If we've never met before, my name is Kim. And if we have met, welcome back. And on today's Cinema Sunday, we are talking, I'm so excited, I'm finally doing this one, Hitchcock. Let's get started. All right guys, so as you can see in my intro, my very first director that I had a, a love for, like he is the best director of all time, in my opinion, and that is Alfred Hitchcock. I love Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock. I have seen every single one of his movies, even going into his silent films, and he had this sense of mastering his craft early in life. His stories are simple, they're straightforward, but they're so masterfully done, I just can't even. I did do a workup and a bio on him over on my blog, so in the description below, I'll link to that. If you wanna learn more about him, head on over, check it out. I also did a review of one of the films that's on my top five list. So let's go ahead and jump into that, right? So I'm gonna give you five films that I think every person who wants to get to know Hitchcock should see. I wanna preface this by saying these are my choices, my opinions, because I know that Hitchcock, there'll be a lot of comments down below. So let's just go ahead and get that. In the comments down below, give me your top five Hitchcock films, or just give me your very favorite one and tell me why. I, I can't wait to read the comments out below. But let's jump into those five I was talking about. So number five is Lifeboat. Lifeboat is amazing in that it is literally almost exclusively filmed in a lifeboat. So tight quarters, not a lot of places to hide things, not a lot of place, not a lot of movement in the characters. So a lot of the emotion and everything has to do with the way that the characters portrayed these roles. Amazingly shot. If you can't, if you get a chance to see 1944's Lifeboat, I, I highly suggest it. It is an amazing piece of work. And probably I think if you're not super into Hitchcock, probably one of the lesser known ones. A lot of people tend to focus on the, the big guys, the birds, Psycho, Rear Window, those ones. And some of his lesser known ones tend to fall by the wayside, but Lifeboat is amazing. And like I said, the fact that it's all done Lifeboat and you have to angle the camera and do all this fun stuff to get these amazing check it out number four is rear window and rear window basically if you don't know the story it is a photographer gets injured can't leave his house he's laid up so he starts looking through his camera lens and he starts seeing his neighbors and things do crazy he thinks one has killed someone so it becomes this whole murder mystery kind of thing and it's it's definitely along the vein of like a lot of other like voyeurism and stuff like that that's the predilection that's going on amazing jimmy stewart i mean how can you beat them and then the incomparable grace kelly you can't like just ridiculous talent awesome movie really well filmed as usual and of course you know check out rear window it's amazing that would move us to number three and i, I think i'm going to get a lot of slack because this is not higher up on my list and it's a great film and that is uh psycho so that is 1960s Psycho, Janet Lee, Anthony Perkins, a good cast. And of course, the infamous shower scene, the filming of that is amazing. The use of light and dark in this to, to denote who's in control at that time, absolutely astounding. And I understand a lot of people are gonna be, think that this should be higher, but the two that are above it, I think are actually better films. This one just got a lot of press because of that shower scene. And that shower scene is amazing. And just so you know, like it, pay, pay attention to that shower scene, the way that it's done, you actually never see the knife hit her. It's all filled in with your mind. So it's amazing the way he filmed it for sure. So why did I make Psycho number three? So not only is it good, film and of course it's iconic scenes in it. There's also very interesting editing and especially in regards to that shower scene, the, the fast pace of it and the pacing of that film is absolutely spot on and I think that's something Hitchcock did really well. He moved the pace that the story dictated need to be. So if it was meant to be a slower pace, he filmed it as a slower pace. If it was supposed to be rapid, you get my idea like he filmed that film in the pace it should be filmed in so psycho 1960s psycho check it out my number three number two for me is to catch a thief this film besides starring Cary grant but who by the way whew, 
beautiful man, and Grace Kelly, is awesome. And here's why. So you have the great cast. You have it filmed in VistaVision, which was all widescreen. You've got Edith Head as the costume designer. You know, it's a straightforward plot, like all of his movies, really well filmed. And if you've never seen it, the plot goes like this. A retired jewel thief is suspected of, of doing this this burglary because it's very much in the vein the way he used to so he has to come back into action to find the person that's setting him up and it's all it's a convoluted little web and it's it's fantastic honestly i know if if we're talking about hitchcock i know you guys have seen psycho i know you guys have seen the bird i beg of you if you have not seen to catch a thief please check it out. It is amazing. Probably, it's not overlooked, but it's not as high up as it should be in most people's regards. Guess it leads me to number one. And number one, I'm for sure that a lot of people may not have heard of, and it is 39 Steps. It's Robert Donut, like amazing. A normal guy gets mixed up in this whole spy subterfuge thing. It's one of his earliest films. So it's 1935, so amazing, you know. So it's it's quintessential Hickok, and it's at the, be it's at the beginning of his career. I'll use air quotes because it's not really the beginning. And it has great plot, and it, it just carries everything that says Hitchcock and that he would carry forward into the rest of his movies. Once again, I think this is probably an overlooked thing, and I did actually do a review on it over on my web, uh, on my blog, so... If you get a chance, I'll link it in the description. Head on over, read my full full bio of it. But if you have not seen 39 Steps or even heard of it, please check it out. It's amazing, absolutely fantastic. So guys, that's my top five Hitchcock films. I hope you enjoyed. If um, And like I said, down below, leave me um, your favorite Hitchcock film. I'm interested to, to see the... The differences and that's it guys so if you like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're digging on cinema sunday go ahead and hit that subscribe button and please remember i post every day by 11 p.m pacific standard time every day is a different show but every day has to do with film and the written word and until next time creatives safe journeys